You use data every day to monitor the performance of your immunization program. Data helps you identify coverage problems and prioritize solutions in order to reach all children with the life-saving vaccines they need. But are you collecting and using gender data? In this video, we will discuss what sex disaggregated and gender-related data are, why and how to collect this data, and how to use it for program improvement. First, what are sex disaggregated and gender-related data? Disaggregated data is data that has been broken down into specific subcategories. For example, you may look at your national coverage rates disaggregated or broken down by regions or districts. Sex disaggregated data breaks down data by sex. Sex is typically assigned at birth and refers to the biological characteristics that define people as female or male. For example, you may look at your coverage data broken down by girls and boys. Let us say your district has pentavalent 3 coverage of 74%. Coverage for girls in your district is 75% and coverage for boys is 73%. Gender is made up of socially constructed roles, behaviours and identities. Gender data uses gender as the primary subcategory to show the impacts of gender-related issues. Often you will find useful information when you consider the gender of caregivers and health workers. For example, you could consider whether women in the community must have permission from their husband or another relative to bring their child for vaccination. This could represent a barrier to access and could lead to lower coverage. So why should you collect gender data for your immunization program and how? Gender-related issues in immunization programs go beyond focusing on coverage disparities between girls and boys. In most areas, children are vaccinated at similar rates regardless of biological sex. So while sex disaggregated vaccination data is important to track, it is also important to look beyond this to the other ways that gender plays a role in immunization programs. A gender analysis is the process of collecting and analysing data and information through a gender lens. It examines the differences in roles and norms between women and men, girls and boys, including constraints, opportunities and needs, and the impact of these differences in their lives. You can get important information from stories, experiences and numerical data Information you learn from speaking with people in the community could lead to ideas for additional numerical data to gather and vice versa. Gather information for a gender analysis from statistical databases, reports, existing or new surveys, rapid needs assessments, focus group discussions and key informant interviews. When gathering information, include both women and men with diverse backgrounds, such as different economic status, ethnic group, age, ability, and home location. Healthcare staff and volunteers who live in the community often also have important insights. Consider questions such as, who makes decisions about children's immunization in the household? What resources do women and men need to be able to ensure their child is immunized? And who has access to and control over these resources? What barriers exist for women and men to access health centers to seek immunization? How can you use gender data for program improvement? Let us consider our previous example. Your district has pentavalent 3 coverage of 74%. Coverage for girls is 75% and coverage for boys is 73%.
you determine that the difference is not significant and there appears to be no difference in vaccination of girls and boys. Gender may be impacting immunization coverage in another way. You hold focus group discussions and review additional gender data for your district. You learn that for facilities in your district where health workers are at least 50% female, pentavalent 3 coverage is 79%. For other sites where most health workers are male, coverage is 71%. You learn that many mothers feel more comfortable approaching female health workers, so attendance is higher at facilities with more female health workers. Based on what you learn in your gender analysis, you may choose to ensure that more female health workers are available at immunization sessions. Or you may choose to work with religious leaders and influencers to shape social norms that encourage women to receive vaccination for themselves or their children from any health worker, regardless of their gender. Thoughtfully considering gender and its impacts can help you problem solve some of the most challenging barriers to immunization in the community and come up with solutions. You should now understand more about sex and gender disaggregated data and how to use it for program improvement.